Hello and welcome to the OpenMX video tutorial series. In this video, we will be conducting a multiple regression analysis using OpenMX. On the left, you see a multiple regression equation for three predictor variables, x1, x2, and x3, and a single outcome variable, y. On the right is the path model for this equation. We have a path for the intercept term, b0, a path for each of our predictor variables and their effects, b1, b2, and b3. We also have our error term. In path analysis, we also model the means of our predictor variables, as well as their variances and covariances. Now let's create this model in OpenMX. First, we load OpenMX with the library function. We can then read in the data. The data was generated with the model you see here. We can then inspect our data with the summary function. Notice that we have four variables, x1, x2, x3, and y. We then store the names of these variables into an object called manifests. We can now begin to build our model. We will call this model multiple regression, and it will be a RAM-type model. For manifest vars, we will use the object manifests we created before. First, we will add the paths from our predictor variables to our outcome variable. These paths will be labeled b1, b2, and b3. Notice that by using a C function, I can put all of these paths in the same MXPath statement. These next paths model the variances of our predictors, and these paths model the covariances between our predictors. The next path models the error variance of y, and the next path models the means of all of our variables. Finally, we add an MX data object and close our model. We can then run this model and inspect it. If we inspect the parameter estimates of this model, we will notice that they are very close to the true parameters of this model. We would now like to know if these paths are significant or not. To do that, we can create new models for which the path estimates are set to be zero. We could either make a new model from scratch or simply use the object of our first model as the first argument in a new MX model statement. We will call this new model B1Test. We make a new MX path from X to Y, which will override the original MX path from X to Y in Model 1. To set this path to 0, we set free to false and values equal to 0. We can then repeat this with the B2 and B3 paths, each time creating new models. If we desired, we could also test to see whether or not all of these paths are significant simultaneously by making a new model for which all of the B coefficients are set to zero. Here we demonstrate this with model 5. We can then run each of these models with MX run and then throw them all into an MX compare statement, comparing them to our original model. If we look at the likelihood of our model, we will notice that our original model has a much lower likelihood than all of the other models we are comparing it to. This indicates that the original model is probably the best model to choose. The AIC values of these different models also seem to point to model 1 as being the best model for this data. Finally, if we look at the p-values of the likelihood ratio test between our original model and models 2, 3, 4, and 5, we see that all of these models have a significant p-value in comparison to Model 1, meaning that these models do not fit the data as well as Model 1 does. Thanks for watching.